friends, this video on motion in a plane part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 3 before going ahead with part 4. Now we look at properties of vector arithmetic. So the very first property is vector addition is commutative. What is commutative? As we already know all these properties in case of numbers. So commutative means a number, let us suppose we have two numbers 1 and 2. So commutative property states that 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 1, right? So vector addition is commutative means if we have two vectors a and b, then a plus b, that is the addition of these two vectors is equal to b plus a. So if you think, if you want to think of it graphically also, you would observe the same thing. Let us suppose we have two vectors. Let us say this is vector A and this is another vector B. Let us say we have these two vectors. So we have to add these two vectors. If I say what would be A plus B? Just quickly follow the same rules which we followed for the triangle method. This is vector A. You take vector V and place it with A in this way. So this is vector B. So the sum of A and B would be this vector. Right? So this will be the addition of A and B. Now if I ask you what would be B plus A? So first you will place B. So this is vector B. Then you will place A. So this is vector A. So the resultant would be this line. So this would be the resultant. Now if you compare this resultant and this resultant, you can see that both have the same direction and both have the same magnitude. The magnitude is represented by the length of this line and the arrow indicates the direction. So you can see that this R and this R are the same. So that means A plus B is equal to B plus A. The second property is vector addition is associative. When I say associative, I mean to say that if we have three vectors, say vector A, B and C, then A plus B plus C, that is adding A and B first and then with the result we are adding another vector C. So this is equal to A plus sum of B and C. So this is the associative law. So this is also very similar to the associative law which we have for numbers. That means first we add two vectors and the result which we get when we add another vector to that result, whatever result we get that would be the same if we add A to the sum of B and C. The third property talks of the zero vector or the null vector. Zero vector is popularly known as the null vector. Null means something which is empty. So when we talk of zero vector, we would like to mention a few of the things. Like, let us suppose we have a vector A. When we add the negative of a vector to the same vector, the result is a zero vector. So these are the scenarios where we get a zero vector. That means a vector A, when I say a vector A, let us suppose this is vector A. When I say minus A, it would mean a vector of same magnitude but in the opposite direction. So when you add a plus minus a, the result would be 0. Similarly, when you multiply 0 to a vector quantity, any vector quantity say a, the result is again a 0 vector or a null vector. That means a vector when added to the same vector to itself in the opposite direction, the result is a 0 vector. Similarly, when a vector is multiplied by 0, the result is a zero vector. However, when a vector quantity is added to zero, the result is the vector quantity itself. Right? So these are the certain properties which are related to the zero vector or null vector. The next property is a vector when multiplied by a positive scalar gives a vector in the same direction. That means if you have a vector quantity, let us suppose you have any vector quantity, say A. Now you have a scalar quantity, say lambda. That is scalar quantity means lambda is nothing but any number. Now if you multiply 
this vector quantity with lambda then what will you get you will get lambda a now this will become this would be a vector quantity so magnitude would be given by lambda a and the direction will be the direction of the vector quantity a that means whenever a vector quantity is multiplied by a scalar quantity the result is a vector quantity the next property states that a vector when multiplied by a negative scalar gives a vector in opposite direction now very similar to the previous one let us suppose we have a vector a and we have a scalar quantity minus lambda so here instead of lambda we have minus lambda so then what would be the value it would be minus lambda a so again what do we see here this entire quantity is a vector quantity but in this case the direction would be opposite to the direction of a that is because of this negative sign so if you multiply a vector quantity by a scalar quantity the result would always be a vector quantity the result the resulting vector would be in the same direction if the sign is positive now if the sign is negative then the result would be in a in the opposite direction as that of the previous quantity so these were some of the properties some of the basic properties as far as addition subtraction multiplication of vector quantities are concerned now we'll go ahead and we'll look at the parallelogram law of vector addition till now we saw how do we add vectors using the triangle law so here we'll discuss another law which is known as the parallelogram law which is quite similar or i mean very much related and very much similar to the triangle law this is considered equivalent to triangle law of vector addition let us suppose we have two vectors a and b as you can see here so in parallelogram law what we do is we draw lines parallel to vector a we draw line parallel to vector b in such a way that it forms a parallelogram altogether right now once this parallelogram is formed we say that the line which joins the two ends of the parallelogram that means the diagonal which starts from this point which joins a and b is nothing but the resultant of a and b that means we say that this resultant vector is the sum of the vectors a and vector b so in the parallelogram so if you see it very carefully this parallelogram law is nothing but we have two vectors we draw a parallelogram by drawing lines parallel to the two vectors and we say that the diagonal of the parallelogram is the sum of the two vectors so these are the two laws which we use in different situations depending upon the situations we use the particular method to add vectors now thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again